Now, this is uh, the fly I'm going to be tying. Uh, it's basically what I call uh, it's an Irish olive ace of spades. It's one I tied just for a bit of fun originally, and uh, it's if you look at it overall, there's a lot of Irish colours in it, and you know why it will work because of these colours. But it's, the the ace of spades is a great style. It's a good point fly. Uh, it caught when the, the mayflies were coming off. Uh, this size was ideal. And uh, if you want to tie some or try something different, then this is the one. Now you could put jungle cock on it, it's up to yourself, but the original didn't have any, and so I never, I'm not going to add any. It's reasonably simple to tie. The Ace of Spades is a very popular fly years and years ago. Still popular if it was being fished nowadays, doesn't matter what colour. Uh, this will obviously work when there's uh, damsels. Uh, the colours, the shape of the Ace of Spades is very minnow like. You need a, a reasonable size head to get a nice balance in the fly, so don't be shy with the head. And it's a good pattern, and it's certainly one I would recommend. Now, the hook I'm using, this is a full and well hook, it's a competition uh, heavyweight, in this case a size 10. The thread I'm going to be using is the Uni AO in Chartreuse. Now I've waxed the thread. It's going to take a few turns down just to get the thread on. And then we tie in a gold oval tinsel. This is just a small gold oval tinsel. And on the way down it's easier to tie in, I find it saves a bit of bulk and a bit of time as well. Just nice layer of thread down, all the way to the back of the hook, to this point. I like it on, the, on this ace spade style, like, I like to come slightly onto the bend of the hook, just to drop the, the way the wing sits. If it's a wee bit too high, I just like it to sit a wee bit lower. And then, for the body, I'm going to be using, and you can use lots of things, you can use dubbing, you can use fine chenille, it's really up to yourself. This is one that's worked for me, the, the diamond bright and gold and all of it, it's a nice colour. And you could mix this into even a bit of a dubbing as well to spread it out, but I'm just putting it straight on. Very easy to dub, and don't be shy with it. Slide it up. Get it started and that's the anchor point there so then what it means then I can actually tighten to it by twisting the, the dubbing and tightening it up. And as I wind up I give it a wee twist as I go just to stretch it out and form a shape. Just work away. Now don't be shy with the head size of this fly. Uh, the ace of spades, I like a good head in the ace of spades. So it's a very sort of fry light shape so you want that to keep it like that but to be honest with you the, the olive version of this one here um, which I've tied for Ireland a lot uh, it works extremely well in the mayfly coming off so this is why it was tied uh, it was just it was tied as a bit of fun but it caught fish so it's serious now so it's a good one now it works now the cape I'm using this was a just an Indian hen neck that's, uh, but you can see I've been using quite a lot of the, the feathers. Now it was a ginger, which I've dyed. You'll see the colour on the back. You see it's an olive. So I've just dyed it olive, and that gives it a lovely warm colour. Now you, I'm using up the smaller feathers. Now you can, depending on the size of the fly, you can tie this bigger. This is tied within the, as I would say, the, the kind of nymph size, or the nymph size of a, a mayfly. And uh, this is when it was fished, and this is why it worked. But it'll work anywhere. Uh, so well, anyway, the, the, as I say, the, if you need four wee hackles. I've got four hackles here. You can see yeah. one on top of the other there. Uh, I'm gonna do. I've got another two. Just gonna line these up. You'll find a way to search yourself. I personally just line them both up. Just fiddle with them to get them right. Make sure the tips are lined up. So I've got my length here, so I'm just going to make sure they fold them together. So we can see how they've all come together, there's two either side. They're dense enough. Length. Now, you're looking for the body length, usually about as a tail over the back. 
to balance it. So if you use the shank, so imagine that they're hanging over then that length, and that should be right. Now you, you can tear away the underside and let it to sit, or you can tie it straight on, it's up to sell. The easiest way to do that, but if you, I'll show you how to do it, is to hold the tail and your finger and thumb, catch underneath and draw the fibres towards the end. And there we are, that gives you a nice seat position. Then open these out, just keep always keeping the hold and tight hold of the the feathers. So obviously you've got your stems bare, bare the stems of the fluff. Secure them in. Just to see how it sits, and you see how easy it is to get it to sit when once you've removed the fibre. And then we can trim away the waste. Take your time when you're doing this. What I'm going to do, wax my thread, carry on down to the eye. Anything go for, going forward, just use your finger to draw it back and then hold it back with the, the thread turns. Come back up. And there we are. Now we're ready to bring our rib up through. Now obviously this is a Matuka style wing. And what you do is you just bring up the fibres holding the tail and then we just come between that make a space for the rib and obviously this protects the wing come round with a turn, right on top and again just change your fingers over, make a space just work your way up, tighten, keep it nice and tight just take your time and keeping these fibres obviously on top You'll find the, the space for the, the rib to go through. So I turn the end here. Catch your ribbon. Three or four turns. Trim away. I'm just going to wax my thread again. Now the end of the rib there, I'm just using my nail to flatten it out. There you go. That makes it tie in really well. And there's your ring. Now, what we want to do is a throat. Now, I've got, what I've got here is this is a blue jay feather, uh, and I've dyed it. I've actually dyed it sunburst, uh, which gives it a very warm, lovely colour. It's ideal for uh, like mayfly type colours. Um, it's very good for. Normally you would use in an ace of spades would be guinea fowl or some sort, so this is the, the posh, so if you've got guinea fowl, just use it, uh, or just in this case if you've got the blue jay, just use it. Now you have pulled off some of the fibres and come up, pulling off some more. I'll get two flies out of a good feather, make sure the tips are lined up, offer it underneath. Now you can pinch and loop down the way for a wing, you can pinch and loop up the way as well. So it's underneath the, uh, the shank, so we come in, pinch the thread, come up, do two or three turns. See how it goes. The tip length, you can see it's just towards, but usually between the point and the barb uh, is a good measure for that. Let's see where we are. As I say, don't be shy of a head on this fly, you want a decent head on it. So, and I'm not using chartreuse just to hide the thread turns on the body. It's colour to the fly. Now you can change the thread thread colour if you wish. Relax. Uh, you can, fire orange is good. Uh, it's a good colour, it's a good aiming point. Now for the for the wing, I see these are bronze mallard feathers. But the I would call the, the waste bronze mallard, not the best mart. And what I normally do with these is I dye them up, and they're great for the wing. So if you've got feathers that are not as good as you would like for the bronze, just dye them up and you'll get some nice feathers, and you can use these up. Now I've got a right and a left, so I'm going to take a slip from either side. So tear it away, you're looking around about maybe 5 mil, 5 6 mil or so, depending on how good the, the feather is. Tear it off. 
Now I wanted to sort of curve the, the body or the, the wing, so I'm going to tie basically them upside down. So the curve on there. So I've got my right and the left. Get the length. See your length here. Make sure the tips are lined up. There we are. I'm just going to pinch and loop. Just allow the thread to slip through your fingers. Do that pinch three times or so. Work one of the fibres there. See how that curves with the fly. Just going to tighten up, trim away, waxing your thread. Now it's easier to take the thread to the eye and then just build the thread up into the cut ends of the, the bronze mallard. So basically what you're doing is building a step up into these and slightly tucking them back in a way. Plenty of grip there. Again a wee bit more wax. Now you could put jungle cock on this, but uh, the original didn't have jungle cock on it, and it fished really well, so don't put it on. Try some. It's like anything. Fly times about trying something. That's what I want. I want a decent size head. I want that minnow like shape. Uh, I want that chartreuse colour. Now see how it looks. You get a nice shape there. There we go. So for speed, what I'm going to use here is some super glue. Just tap the head all the way around when it's nice and bright. This will set really quick. And then you're looking for one or two coats of clear varnish. So there you are, that's uh, basically the olive ace of spades. I actually I call it the Irish version because I, I tied them for Ireland. Uh, simple to tie, just sitting down tying different. Uh, I would, tens are the most, most popular, they put the ones I've tied. Uh, if you want to tie it more as a lure or as a streamer set, do you want it obviously a bigger hook, you can do it quite easy. Just the same as ace of spades. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you enjoyed the videos, please subscribe. It does help. And 